longer than 24 hours lasting perfume who the hell would want that my name is neve welcome back to aromatics so fragrances that last longer than a freaking day yeah that's what we're going to be talking about here today now let's be real here guys sometimes it does get boring you don't want to smell the same thing but my god do you not feel every penny's worth when you do have a fragrance that just lasts to the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and then you wash your clothes and sometimes it's still there it gets annoying it, it does get annoying but i love it and regardless of the fact i still love it especially when it's a good smelling fragrance it's a win-win you can't lose and you know what if you want to wear something else wash your damn clothes or just wear something else anyways enough about that let's go into five fragrances that are absolutely nuclear i'm talking 24 plus you guys and on clothing it might even last all week let's start with the first fragrance that i reviewed relatively recently this stuff is freaking beast i mean really guys that's going to be the case with all these so disclaimer for all of these be freaking careful be mindful of the people around you make sure that you're going somewhere just be appropriate with these fragrances guys some of these do have a middle eastern funk and i'll let you know right off the bat that this one does this is from gissa perfumes and it's called imperial valley this stuff is so potent this atomizer that looks like it's on steroids yeah it's appropriate for the juice because the juice on this is absolutely nuclear you will be dropping people left and right this is a super spicy ambery musky leather fragrance that's what it is there's some oud in the dry down in this fragrance but it's mostly an aromatic spicy fragrance that dries down into a leather amber and musk dominant fragrance great fragrance mostly leather and ambers here smells great it does have a middle eastern funk and it's beastly stuff you might be wondering why the heck did you stop at five well because do you really need more than five at a time do you really need more than one at a time honestly you guys i don't want to overwhelm the population with beast mode smelling fragrances and a lot of these are pretty expensive so i'm trying to be a little bit considerate the fact of the matter is that if i were to watch one of these videos especially something like this at 24 plus hours i'd want them all and it's not reasonable and it's not rational nor is it considerate if i'm just dropping 10 at a time can I drop 10 at a time? I absolutely can. But for this list, I think five is a good starting point. This fragrance goes for 150 to 170 US dollars because of the shipping to the United States. It's not cheap. This fragrance, you'll be lucky to find it on discounters for 200 bucks also not cheap and especially when we're talking about blind buy fragrances you don't need more than these and i'm telling you guys these are all extremely strong and if you guys really enjoy the list then leave a like and i'll consider making it more frequently or maybe even upping it to a 10 list let me know down in the comments your preferences and let's get back into el farid by arabian oud this stuff you guys is extremely hard to find but it is very long lasting you get this saffron effect that's used by a trifecta of different notes like pepper. Uh, there is some geranium and ambergris here. So not necessarily saffron, but all of those three notes are used to basically resemble saffron. So it smells like a saffron, vanilla, musk, and oud fragrance. 24 plus hours. This next fragrance is so loud as well. Safari Extreme by Abdul Samad Al Qureshi is a saffron, bunch of fruits, and leather fragrance with some oud in the dry down. This is much brighter than I thought it would be, at least in the opening. It smells a little bit unisex. I feel like a lot of women can get away with this, but it is a masculine type of fragrance because of the dry down with the musk and the oud. Smells unique, smells different. This fragrance revolves itself around some of that saffron, a lot of fruits, very bright fruits, leather, musk, vanilla, and then in the dry down, there's that oud. So leather dominant fragrance, saffron, and fruits. The oud and musk starts to shine later on in the dry down, great fragrance and the journey and the dry down of this fragrance, man, you're gonna get different accords and facets and transitions. Throughout like eight hours, this thing keeps transitioning. 24 plus hours, this will last on clothing easily. Two plus days, Safari Extreme is amazing. The next one we're gonna talk about is one that's not discussed or talked about often. And it's from Al Majid Al Oud. This is from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and it's called Mukhalat Malaki Asli. So this is basically the Royal Blend, the original. This is basically an oud and amber fragrance with a pretty hefty dose of some rose here. It takes that original DNA and it refines it. Very high quality stuff and I get easily next day, maybe even the second day on clothing for sure. 24 plus hours on this fragrance and I love this stuff. I don't really spray this too often because I really cherish this juice. And when I do wear this stuff, I only spray it about four to six times maximum. So this juice will last a long time. The next, the final fragrance on this list is absolutely enormous. On clothing, it has lasted me 
three plus days on clothing. I could smell this never ending fragrance and it's from Cidra Perfumes and it's called Baron. Very spicy and aromatic. This fragrance is fantastic. It does have like this Middle Eastern vibe and in the dry down, it's a never ending chamomile, amber and patchouli. The saffron, don't be afraid of the saffron. It's not your typical type of saffron. It is definitely there, but it's not as sharp or as metallic as a lot of other saffrons. It just adds like this almost leather vibe to the entire fragrance. Very nice, a more natural type of smelling leather. Eternal, this stuff lasts on clothes two plus days. Such a great fragrance, but you got to be careful with all these fragrances. Baron is aromatic, it's spicy and very ambery. The patchouli, the chamomile and the amber is what I get mostly of in this fragrance. It smells fantastic. If you haven't heard about this one, I highly suggest you check it out. You can find this on OWPerfumes.com and you can use code aromatics to save 5% off. If you're here in the States, that's the official distributor's website and you cannot find it for a better price than that. I wish there are more available ways to sample these because they do run for a pretty hefty price, but they're worth every penny. There are a couple of other fragrances from this collection that I will be diving into more. And to be honest with you guys, they produce and pump a lot of beastly smelling fragrances, 24 plus hour fragrances. Who needs them? We do. If you enjoyed watching this video and you want to see videos like this and more, make sure to leave a like. That's the best way to let me know that you did enjoy the video and also subscribe. And until the next video, peace.